guys, welcome into the Pug Reborn channel. We are back with another top five named weapons of the week. Now it's been a hot minute since we did this, but it doesn't matter because when things are slinging, we're gonna be killing. Let's get into number five. Number five. Number five is Ivan Hamity's power stick. This one caravan went on the desert, found a donkey, played with a satchel, came out to be a power stick. I'm not, I'm, literally it was a satchel on the back of the dog. Calm down people, you're nasty, you yell nasty. The point still being guys, is this thing can cause havoc. Not only is it AoE as we all know, you have yourself a jump from the base damage, 35, 75, now up to 41 to 87. On the top end we're looking at 12 extra freaking damage, head exposed, not no more. Point still being is that isn't even the best part. Yes, it's really good, but when you add that 33% ignoring armor potential it makes it that much more devastating that little bead that shoots out of the freaking gun is going straight into the heart of your enemies thank you despicable dick for this one number four number four is sir engelbert's harbringer sounds harmless but it's forged from a shrat who took a shat ended up in at well at somebody's hands the point is it fell into somebody's hands he picked it up and boom hit that sucker so hard that the splinters went everywhere those little shrap babies are running around like ee, ee, and you're just gonna keep killing them why because damage is the proof of this insurance at which thank you chicken rice for this one let me tell you guys this thing is n -n 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 nits if you look at a great axe you're talking about 80 to 100 damage this thing's got that 97 to 121 guys that is almost the top end damage of a great axe this thing is going to be sick and everything else is pretty self-explanatory as the normal stats but when you get to the skill of the buildup of negative one that is the only killer you wish it was three you wish it was ignoring armor you wish it was effectiveness against armor it does not matter though this thing is going to kill the shrat out of people thank you again beautiful weapon number three number three is sir wilhelm's stinger now harmless as it may be i'm gonna poke some holes in your argument as to why this isn't a number three i love this weapon thank you baba for this one i gotta say that da 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 that damage is looking pretty dang good original fencing sword is 35 to 50 this thing is freaking 44 to 63 good night this thing scales with higher initiative on top of that when you're doing your lunge ability so what happens with lunge ability well glad you asked usually it's 25 fatigue this thing with the build up being dropped by three on top of your sword mastery which ends up driving this thing down even farther you are going to be hopping across the map and not skipping a beat that heart is pounding so hard stinger gonna be stinging those people you can call me the B and number three thank you Baba but before we get into number two, I gotta ask for that like and a subscribe. If you do enjoy this content, please help it grow. It is kind of a piece of crap, but you know, at the same time, I don't want to be mixed up with the likes of Bono. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that is a South Park reference. Let's get into the next one, number two. Number two. Number two is the Golden Vulture's Needle. Ooh, stab me. I'll tell you right now, if you saw a Golden Vulture flying, you'd be like, drop me some coin, you bastard. And guess what? He'd drop a needle. It'd probably land in a haystack, and the thing would be worth millions of dollars, and you're just stuck. You're just stuck with a needle in a haystack and a douchebag golden freaking vulture flying over your head. Woo! Drive me nuts. Let me tell you this, though. The Cuddle Dagger is a 30 to 45 damage weapon. This thing gets the boost 5 to 35 and then up to that 53 top end we're talking something that's so close to a fighting axe with 35 to 55 damage imagine using this three times with the mastery ooh, 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 ooh. it is going to be devastating and then you have yourself the 35 ignoring armor originally sitting at 20 percent that's a 15 percent boost man there's nothing this golden bastard can't do with his little needle Thank you, Shinobi319, and now, the one you've all been waiting for, number one. Number one is the murderous Earthshaker. Ooh, baby taker, hitting the ground, call, call you later. I'm just saying when I hit a raider, they're going to cause a crater. The dangerous things that I'm going to make her. Ooh, the murderous rage, Earthshaker. I love this weapon, man. This weapon is seriously, incredibly dirty okay when you look at a normal two-handed mace you're talking about 75 to 95 damage this thing gets that ba -ba 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 boost all the way up to 98 up to a hundred and twenty three 
damage. When you hit something, you really are gonna cause a cranium combustion, which ends up shaking everything they know and love. Like, uh, there, I won't even go there. I won't go there. I'm not gonna go there. Point still being, guys, this thing is seriously devastating. Even with the base stats, it would be incredible, but when you add the extra 20% effectiveness against armor at 124%, that good night, you hit anything and their armor is just gonna pop off their body and they're gonna be quivering in their little, their little cute boots. Just saying, that's all that's gonna be left on their freaking body. I hope you guys do appreciate this beautiful weapon. Thank you, Stuntovic, for this bad boy. I can't say enough. What a beautiful mess that is going to be. Please hit that like, subscribe, join the Discord. Ooh, hit that bell because you never know when these bad boys are going to drop. And also, join the Discord. That's where the magic really happens, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye!